right. more than this. Absolutely. In fact, let me bring in uh, Abha Singh, who's a lawyer and activist, also with us on the panel. Abha Singh, you know, what is it that allows people to get away with this kind of entitlement? Uh, the fact that some children are now coming out to say that, yes, such incidents have happened in the past. And I think Mr. Vikram Singh has a very important point that he makes is that it is not one, it is not two, but there are several people who are involved. And apparently, they have an entire room to perform this kind of tantric uh, practices or black magic or whatever one chooses to call them, because this raises some very serious questions as to how are these individuals actually given charge of running a school if this is the kind of actions they are indulging in. See, number one, if they are running a school, they've got a um, permission from the, they must have got all the due permission from the education department. So I will hold the district education officer that without due verifications, or if they've given them permission to run a school, then are they not supposed to do surprise checks and see that the children studying there are safe? Secondly, I raise questions on the Hathras police. If you remember, recently hundreds of people died in a stampede. Hathras police, there is no law and order. I think there is rampant corruption because that is why there is no fear of law. People died, they, the, the, the guru, if you remember, so many people had collected and there was no police and they were, they were just brutally killed and no action was taken, the SP was not transferred. So people know that anything, um, they, they will not do their duty but nothing will happen to them and there is no fear of police, there is no fear of law because you are sacrificing a small child. Why is it happening in Hathras again and again? That is the question. Even that girl was raped in Hathras, uh, Dalit girl and now then you had this stampede in the village and now this this is the third incident. In fact, in the last incident only, it was asked that the SP of Hathra should be transferred. He gets political patronage and the message goes that the cops don't work, they have political patronage. And that is, there is no fear of law. Otherwise, it's unheard of in today's world, in today's times, somebody would kill a child like this because you want to give sacrifice to improve your school. You are not scared of the law because these people are rich people. They know we will do it and then we will bribe the police. We will bribe the justice system and get away. Okay. I want a quick word from uh, Dr. Vikram Singh before I go across to Dr. Jayanti Datta. Would you like to respond to that? Because the police inaction in the case of the stampede, what we saw in the horrific case of uh, the Dalit girls' rape and murder, all of this has raised questions on the police establishment and the lack of action by the administration on that aspect has led to the sense of entitlement that, uh, you know, anything can be done when it comes to the cops there. Do you share the perception of Abha Singh? Very pertinent points. And if there are horrible fault lines in the policing of Hathras, first, you have the rape case. Second, you have the Bhole Baba case, the stampede happening. And third, I mean, are we courting the recipe of disaster? I totally agree with Avaji that once there is even a hint of a fault line, immediate remedial measures and precautions are taken. Here, we seem to have given a go-by and allowing the disaster to strike us and courting the recipe of disaster in the process. Right.